Hey guys, what's up? This is Metal Gear, and today I'm going to be doing I'm going to be doing a tutorial on making uh, fonts for Mugen, and we're going to be going through the creations of it and how to put it into Mugen. So as you can see, here's a font right here that I just made. Well, actually, I typed. This is what we're and it's called uh, the Doomed font, and this is the size it should be for the select screen. This is only going to be in the fr uh, front page of Mugen. You know where you select uh, verses or uh, practice, uh, practice watch, anything like that. Uh, this will be the font for it. All right. So, and another thing is, is that you should also have lowercase, but um, this font <laughs> has no lowercase, so uh, that's a problem. But uh, I can fix that. So, what we're going to be doing now is we're going to go through this whole thing again. Just go to new and make a a new file, a width of 2000 and a height of 100. That's what I use because, you know, uh, it, it gives me more room to type. Okay, so what do I need to do here? Oh, yeah, change the background color. Um, actually, do I? I should just change it to black. I should just change it to black. It's fine black and then we're going to make the uh, uh, we're going to put in the font <laughs> also the font for this to make it uh for it to look really good in the select screen I made it 18 points but some other fonts are bigger or smaller so you got to you got to figure out what's the best what's the best font size so we're going to go through here just put in the font and we're going to put in the Doom font, press enter, put in the center, then just type in the alphabet A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, just keeps on going. J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q. <laughs> X, Y, Z. Okay. I just got to do this for a second. Change that color font. Now we're going to zoom in and see how it looks put it to 100 okay as you can see there's the alphabet alright so that's it for that and this font only only has uppercase so I can't do anything about that for, for right now okay so now we're just gonna put go to image mode put it index colored, flatten layers, and um, yes to 16. Um, then we're going to save it. Save it as doomed. Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. Hold on, people. I wonder where I saved that. I didn't even take a look. Oh, come on. Don't be doing this to me. Thank you. Computer's acting up today, and it's really starting to piss me off. Doing PCX. Okay, so that's where it is. All right, so in the next uh, program you're going to need is a program called uh, Animation Shop 3, which is uh, the same people who made, um, uh, made uh, Paint Shop Pro. So uh, just open that font up, Put the picture up actually. And oh, and the picture has to be a PCX format. That's what it has to be. So we could be able to work. Okay, so doomed. Oops, I forgot about something. Hold on, folks. Uh, I need to go to image and trim this. That looks a lot better. Okay, to save this again. And where's the animation? There we go. Let's quit that out. No. Don't want that. Doomed. Okay, there it is. All nice. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to animation, replace color. And just uh, go to here. And then just... Uh, click the black of it and just make a new color just press ok and it changes into a new color 
Okay, so now we want to save. No, we don't want to save it. Actually, we want to do is copy it, and then you're gonna need Paint Shop Pro this time. This is the only program this is gonna for this to work. Okay, so paste as new image, and there it is. Okay, now we gotta go to palette. No wait, decrease color by 256. Yes and go to palette, edit, there's the pink actually, oh that's easy to remember so just put in the pink over here and it was two 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 okay there we go and just press ok and then what we're gonna do is you don't save it yet don't save it what you have to do now is you have to go to uh, palette Save palette. I'm just going to save it as doomed font. It already exists. Yes, I don't care. Just exit out of this. Save changes to image new. And then we're just going to have to repaste it in. But um, looks like I have to go back and do it again. Copy. And uh, paste as new image. And then go over here to image, then palette, load palette, and doomed font load yes flatten image and that's it for that so now we're just going to save it as a PCX so we'll just call this doomed one PCX desktop alright so now just uh, minimize these get them out of the way and now you're going to need a program called font 